Hello and welcome to the Joe Hack Show. This will be my first video. It's going to be Cydia Basics. Um, so a lot of people ask me why jailbreak my iPhone, and this is why. So I'm going to assume that you've already jailbroken on your iDevice. Uh, there's a tool called Evasion. It just came out on February 4th, 2013. It's spelled E-V-A-S-I-0-N.com. You go there, it has a tool, a jailbreak tool, and it is offered in Linux, Mac, and Windows. So whatever you have, just go ahead and download that. You do need to have the latest iTunes installed on your computer as well. Once that's done, you just run the program, plug in your phone, it'll tell you that it can be jailbroken. It basically works on any iDevice that is running 6.0 up to 6.1, the latest Apple release. Okay, so once you do that, it only takes about five minutes. You get an icon after your device restarts a couple times that looks like this right here. It says Cydia, and uh, Cydia is the jailbreak community. It's basically the front end or the app store of all applications that you can get on a jailbroken device. So if we go to the front page of Cydia, um, it looks like just kind of a toned down app store and as you can see traffic from evasion has caused many errors just because a lot of people are jailbreaking right now um, so if you get something like this don't worry about it you can just return to Cydia basically it's just saying one of my repositories or repos cannot be reached and what a repo is is basically there is a source for where this app store is pulling its apps from and that's what a repo is so it, it comes with standard repos if you click manage and it will bring up this and you have packets which are your actual programs you have sourcage and then storage storage shows you exactly what it says how much room you have left so sources it comes with a number of these but I've added a lot of them so big boss is the kind of official repo of Cydia's store. So a lot of applications that I'm, I'm going to show you are paid for applications but there's a way that you can get them for zero cost to you by installing these additional sources where they can pull applications from. So the first one is Bite Your Apple, uh, repo.biteyourapple.net. These are very simple to install. You just click edit up here in the top right and then you click add it comes up to your URL, you just enter the URL and hit add source. It goes to a little thing where it downloads information from the source and you're good to go. So, <clears throat> there is Bite Your Apple, um, Hack Your iPhone, you can see the repos listed right underneath it, iHacks Repo, iHackStore.com, Repo Cydia, Sinful iPhone Repo, Team XBMC, uh, Excelize, these are all repos that carry the App Store applications inside of Cydia for no cost to you. So, for example, we go back to Cydia's homepage. Let's say that you were looking at this homepage and you said, oh, look at that 3G unrestrictor. Basically, it allows your apps to work over, over Wi-Fi or thinks them into thinking that they're on Wi-Fi. So things like FaceTime, if you have AT&T, for example, and you have the unlimited data pack, they didn't tell you, but if you got an iPhone 5, you have to get a different data pack in order to use FaceTime over cellular. So that's what exactly what this program will do, allow you to use FaceTime over cellular for no cost. So if you click on that, you get a small description of it, what it does, how it does. FaceTime, even with AT&T, as you can see, basically works on LTE, works on iPhone 5. Looks great, right? Okay, so if you wanted to, Go ahead and pay the $3.99 and you can get the program. They offer a number of different payment methods. Completely legitimate. I've done this a couple different times and never had information stolen. So if you want purchase or because I've added those additional sources, what I'll do now is search that same program. So I'll click on 3G Un and as you can see, it, it pops up with what I'm looking for. Now the one that's highlighted is the one that's on the official repo and again that's where exactly where we were just at. It says purchase the product for $3.99. Now I like to go there too to see what version number because the version number 
Sometimes the repos that have these for free don't have the proper version or the most latest release. So it's 5.1-3. So the things underneath it are from the additional sources. Now these don't have a cost associated with them. However, it's the same exact program, 5.1.3. I've already installed this. Don't worry about all this junk. It's just ads and things like that. But up in the top right here, you'll see install. I'll show you a different one so you can see that. Install. Again, that's the same one. That's from just a different source, so there's no cost to that one. So I've downloaded this one, and it works perfectly. It's the same exact program as the one you pay for. So that is how to get the Cydia applications for zero cost. If you go back to Cydia, it offers a number of different things, um, which I'll go over in several mini videos after this. But that is Cydia Basics. Have a good one.